Jack stands are always a pain to keep around the shop, but you seem to always need them. Uh, so we're going to find a place for them by making a little stand, uh, just a couple of sticks. And I'm saying sticks, one big stick from your metal supply store. These two we bought from Lowe's, about 20 bucks worth of, uh, worth of angle iron there. Uh, so just some cheap angle iron, I think it's eighth inch thick. And there's 12 foot over there, two six foot sticks. Should be plenty for us to do what we need to do. Oh, also got a couple of dollars worth of quarter inch uh, screws and nuts there. You may be able to use something you have around the shop. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we're gonna get a measurement first on our jack stand bases. Uh, let's see here. So it looks about nine inches uh, by seven inches should cover it. About six and three quarter, but definitely want a little bit of leeway there. So let's say seven by nine and go with that. So since we're doing two jack stands, then we want basically four of each of those legs. So we want four at nine inches uh, and four at seven inches. So let's go ahead and mark those out. Nine and seven. We also want to make uh, kind of two stands, if you will, or two uh, vertical uprights where these frames are going to sit on. We're going to cut those at 28 inches each. So let's make sure that our jack stands are going to fit in here. So we'll just mock it up really quick. Yeah, that should fit just fine. Now we want to make some offset cuts on our angle.
see I left it uh, basically where they're meeting up like this where I actually have a gap there to weld. So I'm not overlapping either one and then I'll fill anything in afterwards. So like right here I can fill this gap in. After I tack everything up. So that's how I'm leaving it. And then I'll run my weld here and fill in the backside later. A little bit of warpage going on. Shouldn't be hard at all to pull out of there. pieces basically that's going to be somewhat of an upright and we're going to lay our frame here on its face and decide where we're going to drill these holes. So I played with a couple of different holes for this to pivot and basically I found that I needed to be kind of toward the top edge of this angle and toward the top edge of this angle as well. This last hole is the one I'm using. So you can just kind of play around to see what you need in order for it to be able to pivot here. So now I'm just going to reference this hole on this other piece of angle as well. Now that I've got these two drilled and I've got this one drilled over here. Now I can transfer this new hole onto my shelf and in about the same place. There's not a lot of science going into this and a lot of eyeballing going into this. So here's the idea. Put the screws in and basically this should be able to fold up and then lock into place here. So depending on where you put your screws is gonna depend on whether or not it's gonna be able to pivot. So that's why we had to play around with uh, drilling different holes here. We're drilling different holes right here. So now we can just copy the right ones onto the next step where our next phase or our next shelf is gonna be. So now I've marked out where my next shelf needs to be and I'm gonna use the correct hole here that lined up last time and drill it about the place.
we've got the two shelves in and kind of get an idea of how we're going to lay this out. Uh, we could beautify this as much as we want right now. I'm really not worried about it. I'm going to drill a couple of holes as far as to put the screws in and put the, uh, and to mount this. And I think one will go down here at the very bottom. And then I think I'll go ahead and cut this frame right above this, not too far, and mount the others right up here. Now I think I'll cut this frame right here and then put the mounting screws right below it. and shoot a little paint on it and I think we're done. We're not going to beautify it any more than that. It's holding jack stands, not jewelry. Okay, so we basically got them cleaned up, put a little brake clean on them. Brake clean does everything good and uh, shoot a couple of sh shots of uh, good old lacquer on them. back and hit a couple more coats. Okay, so we know the first hole needs to be somewhere up here, so we've taken a measurement and just gonna go ahead and drill our first hole and put our first nut cert in. Put on our nut cert. And from there we can reference the rest of the holes once we get them up there. I'll go ahead and mount this first. And I may have to trim these screws to keep from hitting the, the drawers in the box. So we'll see. Okay, so there's our first one. So that should allow those holes now to center up, should being the key word. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the shelves on here and then uh, mark the other side holes. And now that I've got the shelves on, Fold these up, which should somewhat give me a parallel structure, at least as much as I care about. And then again, I'm going to take my quarter inch drill bit and that's going to center up on those holes I already have in the angle. that one I'll just go ahead and put a screw in it to kind of hold it in place. There we go. Okay now I've got my quarter inch holes drilled so I can go ahead and open them up 
for the nut search. Put in my nut certs. Put my two screws for the shells back in. Okay, so put our shelves down. And even though I've only got quarter inch screws in there, they're really not flimsy. As you can see, there's not any bounce to them at all. So they're gonna hold very well. And I, I will tell you the majority of the time they'll be sitting there, except for the, you know, 30, 45, couple hours, 30, 45 minutes, couple hours that I actually use them. And I can easily just pull them out put them back in and we're good to go.